Hi guys, I'm Aiden Payne, reviewing for Kids First, and today I'm reviewing the film The Lost Leonardo. The Lost Leonardo is an interesting documentary about a lost Leo da Vinci painting of Christ. Based on the title, I expected to watch a story about a lost and found painting and where it is today. Instead, I discovered a documentary that taught me about the strengths of one's beliefs, art restoration practices, economics, politics, and possible frauds. The Lost Leonardo begins with an art sleeper hunter, Alexander Parrish, finding a painting in New Orleans. Alexander and his business partner, Robert Simon, purchase the painting. Alexander reaches out to Diane. Diane restores the painting and she begins to believe that it's a lost original Leo da Vinci painting. A group of art experts meet at the Natural Museum and agree that the painting is authentic. What follows next is a convoluted story about the true nature of the painting and how people's beliefs about the painting allow it to be capitalized and possibly politicized more than once. The film is filled with art experts, journalists, and even federal agencies. The film captures your attention because of its multiple layers. The film gives a lesson in how prices of items can be inflated. Also, how easy it is to hide one's money in art since laws aren't as restrictive with art purchases as they are with other things. Last, it explores what a piece of art can do to a person or even a group of people, and possibly to a country and the cost they will pay to have it. The overall production of The Lost Leonardo is what I expect from a documentary with a little extra. The scenes give life to what's being said in a way than just sitting and talking in a chair can't. It helps to have pictures to match what is being said and provide explanation of why certain things are, especially if the filmmakers want to attract a younger audience. I think the message of the film is that people can convince themselves of anything, even those in beliefs come with a high cost. Throughout history, various beliefs have kept people together and apart. I give The Lost Leonardo 4.5 out of 5 stars and recommend it ages to 13 to 18, plus adults. The dialogue and themes are a bit much for younger audiences to follow, but a teen might enjoy it with the company of adults so they can explain the certain terms used in the film. The film releases in the U.S. on August 13, 2021. Remember, I'm Aiden Payne. And make sure you subscribe to Kids First. 400 million. So this is the most expensive painting ever sold in the history of the art world. Where the hell is that painting? Nobody knows where it is.